popcorn. Canelo would have been out. <laughs> rabbit punches. <laughs> Headlock to the rabbit punches. Do you think that would be funny? Get some hits. Let's see, my boy. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully, next two. Yeah. All right, man. Alfred's just. Next yeah. Tissue dropping right here. Triple, triple G, just get in here tight. Hit the duck under. Right there. Canelo would have been out. Would have been over. Oh, he would have been DQ too. All right, brother. We got this. Or yeah, we're good. Uh, yeah, just leave him right there. That's cool. All right. Teach me grappling. I'm back, Brian Peterson. I've got none other, none other than Pius Voodoo and Ilo Lobo. That's right. Peterson Grapplers, we got the license plate rash guard. Turn it around. We got the highway symbol on the back. Okay, California, United States. All right. If you guys want to win this thing, please click, click on the link down below in the description box. Patreon. Click on it. Drop a dollar or two, drop five dollars, drop ten dollars. If you guys do ten dollars or more, you go into a raffle for a rash guard at the end of this month. If you do nine dollars or less, you go into a raffle for a t-shirt just like this. Okay? Um, thank you guys so much for all of you guys that are contributing. It helps me bring you guys this stuff every day. Remember, you guys are out there, you're buying stuff every single day. You're getting a cup of coffee from Starbucks. No problem, you drop five bucks. No problem at all. If this channel helps you guys out, please help me keep bringing this stuff to you, okay? Help me help you, okay? All right, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, yesterday we showed you guys the punch choke, the Ezekiel. I was showing you guys how to do this from the guillotine position right here, okay? Now I'm gonna show you guys the more basic standard how I make this work in the mount. And you can do this also from other positions. Hey guys, 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 if you could, just, okay. All right, here we go. He's here, go ahead. We're gonna drop down in the red so you guys can see this. I'm gonna get the mount position. Now, let me talk about control, okay? When you guys wanna control the mount, first I wanna discuss just how to control the mount. There's a few different ways you can do that. One, you may see my arms, I can have the low mount position with the grapevine hooks. See my ankles? I can flex these toes and get, get my grapevine hooks. When I do this, I don't straighten and squeeze all that much. I like to pull my heels up and then flex my toes outward. And I'm arching my hip pressure so that when he tries to unhook his legs, it's difficult. See that? Now, I can also cross my ankles. Crossing my ankles, pulling my heels up towards his hamstring muscles, okay? So that he tries to unhook, it's difficult. Sometimes I will go back to the grapevines and I'll go back to the crossed ankles. Now, if you pull your knees up, come on John, you're gonna have to get these angles, okay? If you pull your knees up, you wanna, you wanna see that right here, just stay where you are John, okay? You wanna see that right here, I wanna pinch my knees tight, okay? And my feet, I wanna hug underneath his butt so that when he's bumping around, and he, he bumps and go to the side. I'm holding on and, and, and in the saddle. I don't want to be loose where when he bumps, there's a giant space for him to create space. Okay? So my feet are hugging. I'm closing my ankles in and my knees are pinched. And then I fold at my hip joint like this. Okay? So this joint right here is going to pinch like this. It's almost like I'm sticking my butt out and I squeeze my knees. Now when he bumps and pushes, it's very hard for him to fight me out of the mount. Okay, so I just gave you three ways to control the mount. Okay, one, two, and three, right here. Okay, now, and I'm still relatively low. Like I'm not way up here in the armpits, although this is great, I'm not. So I can still just be like this. Now, I'm gonna talk about the cross face. Okay, so watch this. Pius chooses a side to go to. He tries to keep his elbow in, and then he wants to go to this side. Now when he does that, and I'm here, what I wanna do is I wanna cross face. So I'm gonna bring his head back this way by making him eat my biceps, and I'm gonna lift his head and move his head this way. If he continues to push to the left side, he runs into my shoulder now. 
and it becomes very difficult for him to fight that leg. Go ahead and push that leg. Struggle? Yeah. You know how hard that is? I'm smashing it. So now walk around, John. Now, this is what I call the open side. This is the closed side. He wants to go to the open side. So now he goes to this side. Now, as he goes there, I'm pinching my knees. I'm not allowing him. Or I could also be like this. Remember, you can use any of these. Crossed ankles, you could be anywhere. And the same thing, when he starts to push, I will cross face right here on his head. See how I'm smashing his face? He doesn't like that, his head got caught. Keep trying to go that way. You notice how hard that is? I'll cross face you right here and choke you. You're gonna have to turn your head, okay? As he turns his head, he goes back this way. Now, the other little detail I wanna give you guys of control is the reverse cross face. Just a different way of doing a cross face. Instead of using the front part of your arm, you use the back side, and you use your elbow to move his head that way. Now he turns to the other side, and I move my elbow, see how he's focused? Down low, I use my elbow to kick his head out of the game, and I make his head face the other way. If you wanted to get more nasty, you could use your elbow on his neck, on his face, when things are real. You MMA guys out there, you can use this reverse cross face. Say he's here and he's turning on his side. You can use this to turn his face and pin with your elbow on his face. That will take his attention, trust me, away from your legs so that he's fighting more with your arms and that way you can also use it to set up for arm bars and such. And then you can even drop your elbows when you're ready. So we know how to cross face, okay? When you understand that principle, it teaches you how to get the guy off of your leg so that when he's focused, go ahead and come to this side. He's focused right there. I wanna get him off of here, so I either have to cross face or cross face. Watch what I'm gonna do this time. My right hand's gonna gather his head. My shoulder smashes his jaw right here. And then while he's thinking about how good he's doing because he's going to the open side, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross face him, but with the back of my head. So I lower my chest, and I look, I turn my head all the way. Don't headbutt your training partner. Remember, his face is right here. So don't hit it with the back of your head. Just lightly. Somebody just come in the room. Big man just left. Um, kids, try to stay quiet, all right? We're shooting a video. Sorry, everyone. Here we go. Back of the head, make contact with the face. Now, look, get where you can see it, John? Again, as he's looking, don't hit him. Just make contact. I've made light contact right now. He's probably being tickled by my hair. Now watch. Move your head into him to turn his face. Once you do that and your chest is connected, see my chest? drops down, I immediately bring my left hand in and I focus the fist right on the carotid artery or even close to the throat, not on the side. Put it up here and then I drop my elbow and grab my wrist and sorry about that. Immediately, you hit a squeeze. It's too late for him to defend. When he tries to come up with his right hand and his left hand, he tries to push you off you just squeeze that sucker, and you're gonna get a quick tap, okay? So here we go again, you ready, John? So he, he was going to this side, and then let's say I cross-faced him. Come around, John. Now look, I've set my cross-face. He's pushing and fighting, I'm squeezing. Look at my head, my chest, I drop down the back of my head. I look, I smash his face. Open the space, hand goes inside, Grab my wrist and it's too late, okay? And it's too late. Now, if the guy ever starts to block your biceps, let's say for example, you got to here and he did not push at your legs. Let's say he's up here pushing at your arm. Just remember, be heavy. My head is controlling the situation. I don't want him thinking I'm trying to choke him. I'm just trying to like grab his arm, pull on it. He's trying to keep my hand away from his, the fight. As I try to go around his arm, it's difficult. Watch what I do. I don't want to get my hand tied behind my back. 
Be careful of that when you reach back. Don't ever allow it. Just roll your wrist and try to win that bat. See that? Try to stop that, Pius. Okay. See how I go out? See how I rolled it? Now watch. Once I go through here, my chest is real tight. And now, can you bring your hand up? See how hard that is? He's trying, his hand is stuck. Just pop it to the outside. Now, once it's to the outside, I want to get my fist in there. And I don't want his hand to go to the inside of my biceps. See how it's hard for him? I'm keeping my elbow in. Now I can open with my head and then drop it into here. If he gets into my biceps now, it's way too late. I'm already tight and he's choked. So if you guys ever get into this bicep position, remember, win the swim. And then once you win the swim, you want to keep him here. Don't give too much space. It, don't open up to do this. He'll just pummel. Yeah, and then post my biceps again. So look how much I open up. When I get his arm to here, I use my head and I put it in and it's too late. Sorry about that. I'm trying to show the guys how quick I put it in. Um, obviously with your partner guys, try to use gradual pressure. We're not trying to make enemies in the gym. Okay, but one last time now. I'm in the mouth. What are you gonna do? The guy, you're here, you're trying to keep the mouth. The guy's gonna bump to turn on his side. Keep your knees tight. See, I'm keeping my knees tight. He's trying to push and bump and trim. Oh, see how hard that is? See how I'm just blocking him with base? Now I can't do this forever. He might get the space that he needs. So I, I underhook his neck right here. He's still trying to focus on his side. So while he's pushing on that leg, that's a good time. His hands are low, back of your head, open, fist, and too late. You got him, okay? So guys, it's just right here. Look at how my, uh, my wrist is, like this. So, here look, now I'm gonna show you guys with space. Okay, look, see how my wrist is like this? I don't have my wrist like this. You guys can do it like a chop, like this, where it's like hammer fist. That's not what I do. You can do it like this too though. See that? Where I pull this and this chops like a hammer. I don't do that. I bend my wrist and I put my knuckles into his neck like I'm trying to punch him like this. My elbow posts, I know it looks weird, but now the leverage, once this hand comes up high and I make a grip, oh man, it's so much pressure going in and then I imagine I'm taking my fist and I'm punching my shoulder bicep area on the other side, okay? I just imagine I'm punching like this, okay? Somebody in the comments section actually asked about this one, I'll just clear this up right now. I'm sorry I didn't reply. I am reading all the messages, guys, but there's so many messages. I'm having trouble uh, keeping up. I just have too much on my plate, guys, so I'm sorry that I can't reply to every message. I do look at them, though. Um, so if I can't type every message to you, I'm sorry, I'll try to cover it. But somebody asked about this one, like what am I doing with my arms? Like am I trying to pull up like a guillotine? No, I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm going like this. I'm, I'm punching, and that's actually what they asked. They asked one or the other. You were right about the other. It's this, and then I, I do this motion. You could do this, but that's not what I do. So I do do that with a different move, and I'll show you guys that maybe tomorrow, okay? How I use this one. This is more of a punch, so one more time. Same as I do in the mount, I squeeze by punching. It just goes like this, okay? All right, that's all I got. You got anything, Pius? You got anything to say to the, the Teach Me Grappling world? Man, just get it done. Get one of these. Look how, look how dope I look in this. You know what I'm saying? Check that out. Huh? You got we got a license plate. Hmm? Here's some grappler all day, every day. You know how we do it. It don't right. stop. Straight up. U, U of MMA uh, amateur champion, now professional mixed martial arts fighter, Pius. Voodoo, any little logo. Hey. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. Um, please click the link down below. Subscribe to this channel and also contribute to this channel. Help make it better. I am gonna get a new camera soon. I've been having some of my guys swipe with their fingers in front of the lens. Hopefully, John didn't do it today. And uh, we're gonna try to stop all that. I also gotta get these kids to chill, <laughs> calm down, quit making all that noise. I got like ten kids back here behind the camera. Anyway. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy. Try this move out. Ezekiel from the mount. See ya.